Welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. Silent night. I only have one wish for the shooting star. Holy night. Send me someone to love so I we have five more days and vlogmas will be over and i never thought that i would be excited to stop posting like it's crazy out here i've been posting every single day since the first today i'm gonna be sharing the best vanilla fragrances that i will be wearing this winter okay and if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in go ahead and grab a seat grab a drink and let's get right into this video this is in no particular order but i probably will start off with the designers first and then work our way to the niche i have three designers three niche i didn't do that on purpose but let's go ahead and start with the first one this is an og and it's Dior Attic. This is an OG. This is so good, you guys. This Dior Attic is perfect. Spiced, powdery, vanilla fragrance. And it's been a long time. I've been hearing all the girls talking about this and I never grabbed it. I never gravitated towards it because I was just like, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. At the time when I smelled it, I didn't like anything powder. If you had like a drop of powder, I didn't like you. I didn't want to smell like you. But fast forward to 2022, I smelled this and I said, Abby, what the heck did you not like about this fragrance? I was trying to figure out what I didn't like about this fragrance and I could not pinpoint it. I remember I didn't like the powderiness, but to be honest with you guys, I feel like I never gave it a chance because honestly, it is not that powdery. So I was trying to figure out what I didn't like about it for real because it is not that powdery. This opens up with like a little spiciness and some powder, but then it dries down to this gorgeous, sexy, alluring vanilla fragrance. Every single time I wear this, I get so much compliments. People are always like, girl, what are you wearing? And I like to wear it during this time of year because the last time I wore this, it was for a gala and um, it was basically a Christmas gala. It was towards the end of the year. And girl, when I tell you, this right here did not disappoint. The host was like, girl, what are you wearing? Everybody was like, Abby, you smell really nice, elegant, very put together. And I was like, thank you. And when I told them it was Dior Attic, they were like, oh, okay. Because, you know, obviously people expect me to wear something that's never heard of, you know, because I have like a vast collection, but it was Dior Attic. So definitely going to be wearing this this year if you haven't tried dior attic please try it it is delicious and i feel like it's at sephora as well while they have their 20 percent off go ahead and grab it because that's going to end on the 24th i believe if i'm not mistaken go ahead and grab this this is beautiful but i wanted vanilla diorama from the private line and eden rock to smell like but they not given that and this is definitely giving that for a cheaper price so if you like spicy powdery vanillas this is perfect and i feel like this was made ahead of its time this next one breaks my heart because it is being discontinued and i'm just like for what though like why are you guys discontinuing this i feel like whenever a brand sells to l'oreal or sd which i don't have a problem with i love those two brands and i love what they're doing they are literally taking over but i feel like when a brand sells to them when they take creative directory I feel like they just be messing stuff up. This brand brought this fragrance out and it was one of the most unique vanillas that I've smelled in my life. And I have a lot of vanillas. And they're discontinuing it. I feel like there's some fragrances that are outplayed and y'all still got them. So why y'all discontinuing this? And it is Tom Ford's Metallic. Girl, like they're discontinuing this. And this is like the prettiest, cold, cool girl vanilla fragrance i've smelled it doesn't smell very warm it smells icy and cold like this smells so different from anything i've smelled that i feel like why would y'all do that like i really enjoy this i'm happy i got the 100 ml but i'm feeling like one because it is being discontinued they're gonna spike up the price if i don't go ahead and get me my backup bottle it smells like a very cold scoop of vanilla ice cream like with a cold spoon with a silver cold spoon like the most luxurious spoon that you have in your silver collection i'm not into that so i don't know if that's how they call it but imagine that scooping up the most richest freshest vanilla ice cream it is so good it is so creamy and cold and usually when a fragrance is creamy like that you would expect it to be very warm and alluring this is not warm at all. This is cold, but it's good. It's inviting, but it's not too inviting. Like, I smell good, give me the compliment and keep it moving. Like, this is not like a start the conversation type of fragrance. 
in my opinion. I feel like this is so perfect and I'm just so mad that they are discontinuing it. But I feel like I did a good job by getting 100 ml. This was my first full bottle purchase from Tom Ford that I did not use no discounts or I didn't get it from a discounter. I got it exactly from the store and uh, the memories with this fragrance is am amazing. I got this in 2020 and I really, really love it. And I feel like if you haven't tried it, I'm going to try my best to find the perfect link for you. Go ahead and get it because, girl, they're discontinuing it. And when they say that they're discontinuing fragrances, I feel like there's some people, if they have the money, they'll buy like 20, 40, 50, 100 bottles of it and then resell it up two times more. And obviously, you're going to buy it because it is discontinued. Yeah, definitely go ahead and get this if you don't have it already. It is such a masterpiece. And I feel like Tom Ford should have never yeah they should have never allowed that to you know and at the time he sold some of the company but last year he sold the entire company and i'm sure he's living the life but i don't know like i feel like the fragrances will not be the same this next one probably gonna piss y'all off too because when it was on sale at neiman's and at Saks and at um bloomingdale's I posted it. It was only for 150. A lot of you guys got it. A lot of you guys didn't. And the girls that did get it, y'all was happy. And the girls that didn't was not happy, obviously. But they came out with a newer one, and it's a new formulation. And obviously, it's more lighter. I already know it's gonna be more lighter because what they did to Cafe Rose, and I love Cafe Rose. The new one is nice too, but it's nowhere near the original. And this one was discontinued as well from Tom Ford. It's Vanille Fatale. And I noticed that they're coming out with a new one. It's in the clear private line bottle. And I'm just like, hey, okay, this one is a spicy vanilla fragrance. It's so spicy. It's so sexy. It smells like a Middle Eastern style of fragrance. This was the first private collection that I fell in love with. I sprayed it on a piece of paper back in 2020, sprayed it. And then I put it in my car. And I promise you, for one month, my car smelled like Vanilla Fatal by Tom Ford. And the card was not laying out in the car. It was in a glove compartment. Was it the glove compartment or the armrest that turns into a storage? It was there, closed it, and that was it. Walked into my car every single day for a month. And it smelled like Vanilla Fatal. This is so beast mode. It is so long lasting. And I'm so mad that they are reformulating it and giving it to you guys in that clear bottle i'm trying to see where my dent is but i feel like my dent is like right here so i still have this for a while and i do plan on getting my nose on that to tell you guys exactly how i feel when it comes to concentration and if they did change it drastically because sometimes reformulations are not too bad there's other cases where they will reformulate the fragrance and it does not last for a second and i'm praying that that's not the case for this one but this is a vanilla that I'll be wearing this winter and I can't wait. Now let's get into the niche. The first one is Kayali Vanilla Royale. Yes, Kayali is niche because Kayali does not make clothing. She does not make um, bags. She doesn't make nothing else. She's no, she is not a designer. She is a niche fragrance because she niched down to one category, which was fragrance. That is what niche is. But anyways, I just had to put that out there because y'all always fight me in the comments. And I'm not a confrontational person. I don't fight. I like to smell good and feel good, okay? So this is what I'm going to be wearing this fall. Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64. It is my favorite of all time from the house of Kayali. I really like Vanilla Oud. But I feel like it's not going to be as powerful and as pungent for the winter time. This one definitely will be and that's why it's in the lineup of course you know it has vanilla vanilla sir absolute golden rum creme brulee brown sugar royal oud and sugar patchouli obviously and it just smells so high end so luxe so sexy i just love this and layered with other fragrances you really can't go wrong with this it's super long lasting a lot of the kaoli fragrances are not as long lasting but if i tell you it's long lasting it's long lasting and this is definitely long lasting you cannot go wrong with this fragrance at all it's so alluring and so sexy and for date night for special occasions for a special dinner even if you're getting married in the winter time oh baby if you're not wearing vanilla royale i don't know what you're doing with yourself girl go ahead and put that on because it is good good this is amazing and i will definitely be wearing this all winter long the next one is 
a blood orange vanilla lover's dream. This fragrance right here got me on a chokehold. It was the first niche style vanilla fragrance that I smelled and I've never smelled anything like it. Specifically with that blood orange citrusy mix with it. I instantly fell in love until this day after smelling many, 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 many vanilla fragrances. I'm still in love with it. And it is Not Vanille by Mikalef. Now, I was so blessed and honored to receive original packaging from Mikalef because now they have a newer packaging, which is not bad, but I really wanted the original. And it's just so beautiful. And when I got my juice, it was dark, it was light. And after sitting for like three, four months, baby, look at how dark it is. And the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice, right? So the darker the juice, the stronger the fragrance gets. And let me just spray it on because, oh my gosh, every single time I spray this fragrance, it's so sexy. Oh man, I cannot wait to wear this right now because I've been waiting for it to get this deep and dark to wear it. And now that it is, it is so rich. It smells even richer and more syrupy and more sweet. Every time I spray this fragrance, my husband knows. He always says, oh my gosh, you're wearing that vanilla fragrance again. I'm like, yeah. If you're looking for the best vanilla I've ever smelled, this is it. I feel like if you're looking for a solid vanilla, this is it. This is a vanilla that could be a date night scent. This is a vanilla that could be a special occasion and you could wear it all year round. It will layer perfectly with anything because if you're trying to give that tangy vanilla vibe, this is it. Honestly, you guys, this is probably the best fragrance from Mikalev. I don't really feel like their other fragrances can compare at all. Like this is really a masterpiece and that's why it was sold out for years, okay? It took them years to make it again. And that's why they had to put it in a new bottle and stuff like that because people forgot about it. That's how good it was. It was sold out and I love it. Oh my God, it's so rich. It's so syrupy. It's such a great fragrance and it's definitely in my lineup for this winter time. This is another one that I instantly fell in love with and it is my number one vanilla fragrance. And it smells like a lemon meringue pie. Lyra by Zhezhov. Y'all know I love Lyra. Y'all know I love the House of Zhezhov. I feel like they put their all. I feel like when they're making their fragrances, they make it like it's their last, okay? They really take their time with fragrances. And this one, they took their time with this. It is delicious. Now, they did reformulate it. And I've heard that it doesn't last long. I'm so sorry. But y'all should have bought it when I've been telling y'all. It's so freaking good. Now that I've heard, like, it has a white trim around it. So, like, you see how this is a gold trim around the lady? It now have a white trim. And it doesn't last as long. But there are dupe houses such as Dapper Fragrances that have an exact dupe of the original. And it lasts so long. Go ahead and get it because it's so good. I love this one. Every single time I wear this fragrance, I get so much compliments. People are always telling me I smell like a edible arrangement. Like I smell so good. I smell like a cake. And I'm just like, thank you. It's Lyra by Zhezhov. Okay, so if you're looking for the perfect vanilla for this winter time, these are the ones. And if I didn't mention a vanilla that you think that is perfect, comment it down below because I'm super curious. I cannot wait to dive into the comments and look for my next best vanilla fragrance. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If I have any discount codes, which I feel like I do, I will link them in the description box below for your convenience to buy. Until we see each other again, please, please, please stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances, cherry bombs. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Tomorrow.